Although it is not now known by exobiologists if the first minox were salt or sulfur feeding and non-helium allergic atmosphere breathing vinox, or if they de-evolved from their sentient form, which then regressed to living solely on an asteroid, it is known that minox, a form of silicon-based parasite native to outer space, feed on stellar electromagnetic and in particular electrical energy. Their prevalence throughout the galaxy and their extreme antiquity implies also how extremely ancient the practice of interstellar travel by spaceship is. The simplest form of technology in the engines of most spaceships also indicates the same fundamental technology in use since prehistorically ancient times for breaking the atmosphere and gravity wells of one's own planet by primitive spacefaring species. The fuel cells of any spaceships are usually used only to power the sublight drive, which is mostly only used in liftoff of a ship or while it is airborne inside a planet's atmosphere. The sublight engines are powered by fuel cells only to facilitate their operation in a gaseous atmosphere. The sublight engines themselves are electrical, but their ignition remains triggered by a single spark plug system that runs off of solid state liquid or gas fuel. Most starships used very small fuel cells and only to spark the ignition of the sublight engines. However, this technology is undoubtedly the oldest form in use the longest. Although some starships still employ solid-state fusion or fission energy furnaces to run on, the most common form of core reactor in ships or in power plants on planets has long been the hypermatter collision energy generator. Such reactors generated electrical energy directly bypassing the need for a spark plug triggered fuel cell powered system for manufacturing electricity by driving a turbine's torque into electrical generators. The technology of fuel cells could get one outside their home planet's atmosphere, but it was quickly discovered the only form of power generator that could fuel a spaceship across interstellar distances was a hypermatter reactor core. The premise of such a reactor is creating a micro-miniaturized pulse point between two particle accelerator power generators. By controlling the rate of energy exchange between these generators at this pulse point, one could accelerate ordinary particulate motion in the power generators to nearly hyperspace speeds and then generate a spark of hypermatter at the pulse point between them where the energy from both power generators was permitted to collide. Such an engine could be easily shut on or off, but would, while active, generate enough raw electrical energy to power anything from a Nabu cruiser or the Millennium Falcon to Coruscant or the Death Star. The next piece of technology that had to be developed before a planet that had harnessed fuel cells to break their planet's atmosphere could use a hypermatter reactor core to power interstellar explorations was the power adapter which converted raw electrical currents of massive amounts of energy into the type of pulsed current necessarily applied for different needs in circumstantial situations. Power adapters converted between core reactor power generators and electrical circuitry, and thus were a key component for any type of electrically powered operating systems to function. The usual design of a hypermatter core reactor or a planetary power generator derives from the concept of accelerating energy put into it at one end into hyperspatial speeds at the other by using a natural shaped architecture to increase the spin of the particle around the inside of the accelerators on either side of the pulse point. If one wanted to create such a pulse point as an energy gate that would provide lossless transmission 
of a fixed amount of electrical energy, rather than accelerating it into hypermatter. One would use a simple power coupling. Power couplings were simply open air plugs connecting or breaking an energy circuit. Rather than using power cables across long distances or for lossless delivery of full electrical energy content, it was found that electrical energy could be harnessed relatively safely and most efficiently using open air conductors to bridge the space between a pair of circuit points. Power couplings use a single ground wire to act as a circuit breaker in the event of a short or surge. In the same way the fuel cell powered sublight engines bridge one's home planet's own atmosphere and the use of a hypermatter core reactor can power one's way to interstellar travel, the concept behind the power coupling was essential to the eventual development of the hyperdrive engine. The hyperdrive engine is an astrographic circuit board cased in titanium chromium inserted between two power couplings. When the power coupling of the hyperdrive engine is activated, electricity is passed through the astrographic circuit board. The Navicomp provides this circuit board the input programmed coordinates for the jump and works together with it to calculate the quickest route around known and up-to-date data on mass shadows of real space gravity wells. The hyperdrive engine works with the ship's shields to create a stabilized energy differential and with its inertial dampeners to create a similar gravity differential. Following this, the hyperdrive engine activates to create a warp field bubble around the ship sustaining it in hyperspace as it transports the ship along a fixed energy beam at superluminal speed to the desired destination.